Welcome to the One Choice for Your Store tutorial. Add a section. Let's learn how easy it is to add a section to your web store within the store editor. The key is making sure that you're on the home page of your store editor. You can click on the home link to make sure. Now, what exactly is a section page? To put it quite simply, it's a page within your store that lists all the items available within a category. So, let's go ahead and make one. In order to do this in the store editor, we're going to look at the top of the page and we're going to click on the button called Section. It really is that easy with the Yahoo store. Now once you click on the section, you will be taken to a new page. And there's a lot of information on this page that looks like it needs to be filled out and it could seem a little overwhelming. But the only thing that absolutely must be filled out on this page is the name field. And that's it. We do, however, recommend that you fill in the caption field as well. In the caption field, we're going to write a description for this item. And the description is going to describe the type of items that can be found on this section page. Remember, you're not only writing this for your shoppers, but also for the search engines as well. When you are done, go ahead and click on the Update button. and now you can see your changes live. Now that we've seen how easy it is to make our first section, let's go ahead and make another one. Remember the key. The key is going back to our home page. So let's click on the home link now. And just like we did the first time, click on the button that says section up at the top. Now remember, the only mandatory field that we must fill in is the name field. Other than that, the rest is up to you. Now you've probably noticed there's headline and abstract and icon and inset and we didn't go over that here. But Yahoo does go over that information right there on your screen. And if you need more information on those, check out our Yahoo store class as well as the Yahoo help information pages. For now, we're just going to go over the basics. We're going to click update because our page is done. And there we can see our second section is made. If we have to make changes, maybe we misspelled something, maybe we want to add more later, all we have to do is go to the top of the page and click the edit button. And here we go, back on the screen that we need to make our changes. We click update again, and voila, it's done.